Good Hello. day to everybody. Welcome to a new video. And today for a random Wednesday video, a lot of you guys ask us a very common question mm. in a lot of our comment sections or Instagrams. And you ask us what camera do we use when we go on our trip? So today, before we answer that question for you guys. In a lovely video for you guys. A random Wednesday video for you folks. If you are new to this channel, we do weekly uh, videos from Fit for Florida to mm -hmm. Disney videos. Yeah. So if you are new, make sure to click the subscribe button. Also follow us on all our social medias by clicking the link in the description. They're all in there for you guys. So let's get on with today's video. Yes. Which camera should we start off with Should we first? start off with our very first camera? Now okay. we don't use it anymore now, but the majority of our videos was actually recorded from this. Yes. And it is our Canon S120. Very, very nice little camera. It shoots in 60 frames per second, if that's all you're into, all that sort of thing. There's 1080p and everything. It's a really, really good, small, compact camera. Mm. Very, very good. It's so robust, it, it really was, because I don't know if you can actually see. Hold on, let's do a beauty thing. <laughs> so there we go. You see on how like battered it is? It is worn down, it's battered. It's been through the wars and it still gave really good picture, good sound. I mean, something rattling. Something rattling, I don't <laughs> know what it is. Um, and it was only Christmas time when we started to notice that, well, Christmas time and editing last. our last vlogs starts to look a little bit grainy and mm. uh, we, we did record off this like oh, crazy. Yeah. A lot. If you were thinking of getting a new camera, like new vlogging camera as well, this was a fantastic one for our very first one. So keep it um, You can actually go buy them like uh, refurbished or used for about 150 yeah. quid, but for the top price of it, it used to be around 350 pounds. Um, it's gone down in price now, so, but yeah, definitely. Good starting camera for you. Mm. Um, we also have used um, another camera for like sort of underwater sort of videos, to sort of like a bit like ride sort of videos. And that is obviously the standard, the good old GoPro. We use the Free Plus Silver. Yeah. Um, this shoots in 1080p in, uh, it does shoot in, shoot in 60 frames, but it's like the amount of memory it uses is not as much, so. It's not good if you've got long nails. Yeah. Or false good. nails. <laughs> so we've also, we've also got a battery pack on the back just to give it a couple more hours of time. Um, so it looks like that little dude. It's really tiny. He's quite retro. But he's awesome. But he actually, when you actually get him, he's, he's that size. Yeah. And you have to buy the add-ons and stuff. Yeah, you can buy like battery packs, the L, uh, LE LCD video packs so you can yeah. see what you can see. Um, there's also an app you can use, so if you want to connect it to your phone wirelessly, kind of check how the footage looks on your phone, so that's pretty good. It kind of gives like a fisheye sort of effect yeah. on your um, your video. Yeah, so it's... Um, I know a lot of people actually use this. Hmm. Um, the best advice that we can give you for, for GoPros, GoPros are really good for action, fast moving sort of things, and yeah. time lapses, and all that if you were to use one there's loads of accessories there's loads of little attachments that you can pay for and all that our best advice is to say to you is if you were to go for a GoPro don't buy every accessory no. because you we did that and actually we don't actually use half of the no. stuff now so only think about the stuff that you're going to use so I mean you can get like those, get, grips. Like, those grips you can get you can buy like the frames for underwater use which is one of which these is one of them or you can buy a frame which is like just a metal frame that covers it. Mm -hmm. Because if you if you use that case there, the water frame case, and you log outside, yeah. it's very tinny. Yeah. Very like someone's kind of covered over the mic, mm -hmm. which is what it's doing. You can as well um, put um, external microphones yes. in there. There are um, sockets in there to put, put them in. It's a really good one for action. Yes, really, really, really good. Really, really good one. Um, so that's what we use for when we're on water rides, the sort of things like that. Um, we're going to move over to another. We bought this sort of, it's a camcorder. Sorry, I'm just fidgeting. <laughs> so we bought a camcorder. The reason why we bought it was because when you have the cap compact cameras like, like this, it's quite hard to hold for a very steady amount of time because when we're vlogging, we're kind of doing this. If you're stationary, if, mm. you're, if you're standing watching a show or any performance or anything like that, sometimes the cameras, these can't really pick up every sort of, detail yeah and we noticed if anybody has ever seen our um halloween horror nights vlog and we did a montage at the end that you can tell that the picture quality when we saw the jack performance yeah. was filmed on our canon fixia 
This is an American version. The, the European version is the Legra. Oh, hello. Still got batteries. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so yeah, so we use this for when for parades, to firework displays, to things like that. So mm -hmm. we use it for stationary because when we're walking, we use the cannons or the mm -hmm. compact cameras. So these are, really are yeah, these are very good for zooming in and getting yeah. a really good picture. I highly recommend that if you were to. Mm. Especially for parades as well. Yeah. Very good. That was the good thing about having the, the using this for the jack performance mm. is that I didn't even know that some of the costumes were really glittery. Yeah. And I did, couldn't see it and you can only see it on this. Mm. And we were like, oh my gosh, this is so so awesome. Yes. So but like we'll be using the Canon the ca or compact camera, sorry, yeah. for vlogging and then when it comes to parades and things like that. We'll be using this. We'll definitely be using this in Paris because we haven't used it. We only used our new camera, which we're going to come to in a second. Quite surprising. It's actually quite light. Mm. Really. It only costs about two hundred pounds. That camera. Yeah. So if anybody has got a camcorder or wants to use a camcorder instead of a, you know, like one of these basic compact cameras, we suggest one of these. Mm. This is really good. And also the bonus of camcorders is you get a longer battery life compared yeah. to compact cameras. They can last for up to two hours, those batteries, mm -hmm. on the com on the camcorder, but for the compacts, they can last for about an hour. So good for fireworks, good for yeah, performances exactly. and shows. But the next one we're going to use is the main one we got from the end of our Vlogmas, if you guys yeah. watched our Vlogmases, and obviously I did it on Paris trips, and mm -hmm. obviously the Fit for Florida photos that we're doing, yeah. is the brand new Canon G7X. It's got a bit of a muff on the top as well, but we'll explain that really why. Um, so, so this is the new, this is like a brand new sort of camera. There is another, there's a Series 2 version of it, mm. but this is like the first one. Yeah. It has amazing picture quality. It has a flip screen so we can, when we're vlogging, we can kind of see ourselves and picture ourselves perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, it also has a really good focus. It's not the best, it's a little bit temperamental, but when you kind of work it out, it's, really, it's actually pretty decent. The battery life is actually better than the last Canon we had. Mm -hmm. It's actually a longer battery life. Good. The sound's really, really good. And also with the advantage of having this little thing here. This, this is called a mini Micromar. It's a Micromar. <laughs> um, you can buy them on Amazon and all loads of other retailers. And it just kind of helps cut the wind out and kind of get, make more of a crisp sound. Mm. We're really happy with this camera. Yeah. I think this probably could be a camera that we could be having for quite some time. Probably about the same amount of time as the last one. Yeah, but as well, one thing that we can say about this, because the picture quality is really good, sometimes when you're walking with it, especially when you're editing, it feels oh, yeah. quite nauseous and yeah. you feel a little bit like, oh. So I would suggest if you were going to go and get a G7X to try and get a, um, a grip. So if you get a pistol grip, and then that way you're able to control it a little bit more so it's a little bit more smoother. So that was the only thing that we could probably say about this one. Yeah, it's, besides that it's really really good, yep. things like that. So there is obviously one other camera that yeah. we haven't really talked about and it's the one that you're seeing it through right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this to kind of show you what camera we do. The camera that we use is the Canon 700D. Oh, you can see it's Hi! Hi, Inception. Hi. Um, the battery's running out. Battery's running out, yeah. So yeah, we use this camera um, and a Rode uh, microphone just to kind of make the sound really, really good. Mm -hmm. So we use these sort of cameras just for the indoors. Yeah. Um, I do use this camera to take photos when I go away, but I'm not a, a photo enthusiast, I'm just a beginner. But yeah. that's the camera we use for challenges to everything, pretty much. Yeah. So that's what we use. We kind of say that what you guys see is we quite like the picture quality, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And like we just got the sound in, so it's still on a work in progress with the sound, but it's still decent. We yeah. really, really like it, and it's a good sort of beginning body camera. It is. So, it is. hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yep. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for plenty more weekly videos. Mm -hmm. And also follow us on all our social medias that will be linked in the description below. Mm -hmm. And we shall see you in the, the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye.